Candace! Did you bring the kitchen? Thanks for coming to my place. Thanks for having me. Because I don't have a kitchen right now. What's going on? I am doing a full kitchen demo renovation. So I'm kitchenless. I am without kitchen. And uh, and you have one. So not not that you're not my friend. Like I'm very, I feel very close to you and our friendship, but uh but I also appreciate your kitchen ship. What's so. mine is yours. Thank you. Um, well, luckily, I'm here to uh, bake some really delicious things before we carve and paint pumpkins because I love fall. I love Halloween. I love it. I love a haunted graveyard. So I got like gravestones and then I got like claws, like hands coming out of it. And then I have like jumping spiders, but you can't just have one jumping spider because you have to go for the double scare. I do have a demon baby that has like ants and spiders crawling over it, but that one's not mine. It belongs to my three-year-old. So my favorite thing to make sure I have on the stove at all times in the fall is a potpourri. I did not invent this word and I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but basically what it is, is it makes your house smell really fall and good. All right, um, we want this to obviously smell pretty, but we want it to look pretty too. So we're gonna throw in some apples. I'm not used to this knife. Okay, we got this. You have, you have great knives. <laughs> they need to be sharpened. Maybe a, li maybe a little. <laughs> it's kind of like an Airbnb knife, and if you know what that means. It's really yeah. judgment. <laughs> it's not judgment. It's just um, a factual observation from my perspective. I love when you walk into the grocery store and it's all those like, brooms that you don't sweep with they just smell like cinnamon and oh, for some reason <laughs> we've all decided that they needed to be tiny useless brooms so this is the potpourri right now Beautiful. we're gonna let it uh, simmer and just make the house smell yummy in honor of october and halloween and pumpkin season i am making oh <laughs> i'm making chewy delicious soft pumpkin cookies with a maple cream cheese icing. Candace, which city that you've lived in has had the best fall? This one. Nashville's fall feels like you're just driving around in a Taylor Swift music video from the Red Era at all times. From your childhood, what was your favorite Halloween costume? I did a lot of store-bought costumes. The most ridiculous one I ever was is in fourth grade, I was a bride. Really could take a long time to unpack that, <laughs> but we won't do that today. Who were you married? I mean, it was the 90s, obviously, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> of course. Or Devin Sawa and Casper. Like, the oh human form of Casper, not the ghost form of Casper. Thanks for clarifying. This is a problem. Can we... We need to reevaluate <laughs> this. Now, we whisk. I'm just gonna kind of fold it all in. Very carefully. There we go. We got some brown sugar, we got some white sugar. We're doing a cup here and three quarter cups here. And then we're gonna add some more, but go. What questions you got for me? Yay or nay when it comes to candy corn? Nay. <gasps> Sweatshirts, hoodie? No hoodie. No hoodie. Football or baseball? Football. Pumpkin patch or apple picking? <laughs> Would you rather go to a haunted house or watch a scary movie at home? Like a real haunted house or yeah. just like a fun haunted house? No, like a real haunted house. Like like an abandoned insane asylum? Have you been to an insane <laughs> asylum? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go into detail on that? No. As the youths say, shit. I know all the youth lingo. So this- That looks thick and sticky. Yes, we want it thick and sticky. <laughs> I'm gonna slap like a an oversized tablespoon. This is a very large one. Is it just a ball or is it an oval? Is it like that? I like a biscuit? So that's, we're gonna try a few different shapes. So that's one shape. Three inches apart. Wow, that might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that actually looks great. That was beautiful. That was I think good. that's my new method. Okay. So at 350, we're gonna bake it for like 13 to 15 minutes. I would love to get real fresh maybe syrup out of a tree sometimes. I know. I want to do that. I want to like tap a maple tree and I want to go to a Christmas tree farm. And I want to, um, ooh, I want to do falconry. Look at those pumpkin cookies. They're very cakey too, which is nice. I like a cakey cookie. Would you rather have to wear a scarf year round or flip flops year round? 
I was a part of the fashion stylings of the early aughts. I mean, we did wear scarves year round. I feel like I could do that. And I also want to point out, does anyone remember the owl trend? That there was all that like weird <laughs> owl jewelry? Why? Why were we wearing so many owls? Obviously, you know I love a good cocktail, but what I love even more on a crisp fall day, I love just like a fantastic fall themed beer. Um, I also really love the breweries around here in Nashville. So would love to give a shout out to Jackalope, Tennessee Brew Works, and also Blackberry Farm. They have their own beer and it is so yummy. This is some maple ale. Ooh, yes. We're just going for it. Cheers. Mmm. Whoa. Oh God, it's really good. <laughs> Damn, I love pumpkin spice. I can't help it. Okay, we got our sweet. Now, we treat. Trick or treat, witches. 